Hey guys, today we're going to look at multi-track recording and how to record more than track at one time with GarageBand. Now to do this, we'll need to open up an empty project. Now GarageBand can record um, as many tracks simultaneously as your audio interface can allow. So if you're using a USB device, then it'll just be whatever's going through your USB. But if you're using a, an external interface, then it'll be how many inputs are on that interface. So in my case, I'm using an Mbox 2 Mini, so that's got two inputs. So that's what I'll be limited to. So in this case, I'm just going to set it up as a, a vocal and a guitar thing through my Mbox Mini, and uh, we'll set it up like that. So I'll just make sure my device is correct. So input device, Mbox 2 Mini, that's good. Track 1 will be the vocals, and that is in the first input. So, yep, create that. And we'll make that a vocal track. I'll just double check that that's the input that I want. Input 1, inbox MIDI, perfect. And then we'll add a new track. This will be a guitar track from the second input back through the MIDI again. I might say it's an acoustic guitar. Beautiful. And that's input two of the Mbox Mini. Now the trick to be able to record two tracks at once is you're going to right click on the tracks here, track header components and go show record enable. So that brings up an extra button within the, the track header, the little record button. So whichever tracks that you've got that clicked for will record. So that one's ready. If I click that, that means they're both ready to record. So now, assuming I had in instruments plugged in, which I don't, if I started to record, it'll now record both of those tracks at once. And that's how you record two tracks at once, also known as multi-track recording with GarageBand. I hope that was helpful.